Birmingham have found it difficult to build any attacks so far. This is good work from Pennock. Now, can she find a pass? Lucy Whip, much better from Birmingham. This might lead to an opportunity, and it does for Lucy Quinn, but she loses her balance. Had time maybe to get a first touch. Birmingham's first sight of goal. Grunen. Torres Dottier, a lovely measured pass to Hannah Blundell. Good turn of pace here. Did she keep it in? Yes, and Leah Galton scores. Birmingham claiming the ball was out, but the officials say no. Really good offer here from the Manchester United left back to find pass from Dottier, but look at the change of pace here. Lovely cutback as well. The ball didn't cross the whole of the line. And Leah Galton sweeps Manchester United in front. Excellent work from Hannah Blundell. Mistake there by Finn. And so many blue shirts ahead of the ball. Manchester United a four on four. And they release Leah Galton. Good chance. And just past the far post. They were really stretched to Birmingham once Jamie Finn gave the ball away in midfield. Russo releasing Galton. It's all one way traffic. Looks only a matter of time before Manchester United score again. And this is Grunen! And that was mighty close to a second goal. For a long way in the travel, it looked like it was in. Torres Dottier. Toon. Blundell. Galton in space. Back to Hannah Blundell. Must score. No. It's a big miss. Blundell. Just about running out of fuel now, Birmingham, nobody tracking the run, Blundell with the cross, and Toon makes it two. Nobody tracking the run there, Oh, Blundell easily in behind the left flank of that Birmingham defence and a tap-in for Ella Toon. Well, it could have been more, but it's going to be three wins out of four at the start of this WSL season for Manchester United. 2-0 winners at St Andrews. Right, here with a smiling Hannah after a 2-0 win away from home. How would you assess the performance? Yeah, good. I think obviously we knew we had to bounce back from the performance last Sunday. Um, and I thought it was a really professional performance from us. Um, we grinded it out when we needed to. And I thought we were ruthless in front of goal as well from obviously Tooney and Leah. Yeah. Uh, what does that say about the character in the squad? Obviously you men mentioned bouncing back from last week. Yeah, obviously, I think it shows that we've got a great group of girls. Um, and like we said, the character within this group, we knew soon um, from Sunday's performance, we knew we had to respond and we had to bounce back. Um, so we made sure we had to put in a professional performance today. Um, and the main thing was getting the win. And yeah, we got that. Yeah. And you obviously took a massive part of that. Unlucky not to score. <laughs> and then straight after had the assist for the second goal. Talk us through your game. Yeah, um, obviously, I want to contribute more up that end um, and of course keeping them out obviously getting a clean sheet today as well was a massive thing but of course I want to contribute to the goals um, and luckily luckily I got to assist again could have scored but I thought I'll stick to the assist today <laughs> <laughs> the goals will come yeah. maybe next week the big Manchester derby coming up I mean nine points from four games is really good how important will that game be yeah massive I think obviously it's a derby um, so quite a lot riding on it but I think like we said we've got the characters in this team to not make sure we don't overdo it with who we're playing against and it being a derby we have to it's one game um, and we've got to make sure again we put in a professional performance and we come away with a result and just finally a word on the supporters it's almost like we're playing at least Sports Village today I know they're unbelievable I love the I love the fact even on away games they're so loud and they're, it literally feels like a home game so for us it's massive it gives us that boost on the pitch and it helps us with the results as well Leah 
Ella, <laughs> Leah, Ella, we could hear the, the songs in the distance there. Only one Leah Goldton. What's that like? The travelling supporters there showing you what you mean to them. It's nice. It's a good feeling to have them back. I think we missed them, obviously, last season when we didn't have any fans, but it's such a thrill, obviously, when you're scoring and when you're making big challenges, just to hear them behind you, it's, it's great. Ella, a word on Leah's opening goal, because that was the crucial one to get you up and away. Yeah, I think it broke the deadlock and then we could settle into the game after that. Um, I think we were really patient and we knew it was going to be hard, but Leah luckily got the first goal in the first half and we settled into the game after that and it was a great finish. Were you feeling unlucky not to get two tonight <laughs> because you hit the bar as well? Yeah, of course. Um, I think we created a lot of chances and on other days we'll put more of them to bed and now it's about going back to the training pitch and working on that but the fact is we created a lot of chances and we bounced back from the weekend against Chelsea and that was the main thing we wanted to do and get the three points so happy. Leah yeah that that reaction was all important wasn't it from last weekend? Yeah huge I mean I couldn't be more proud of the team I think we needed to come out and start like we did and to be fair I think we had most of the ball tonight, tonight so it just shows that we've worked hard this week in training. Absolutely. Now, just tell me exactly how you're feeling about the season ahead because nine points from 12, are you in a good place right now? Yeah, of course. I think we're a really positive team and we want to learn um, and we want to keep getting as many points as we can on a weekend. And I thought we were great tonight and uh, we bounced back from that loss. And I feel like you can't dwell on losses like that because games come thick and fast in this league. So, yeah, it shows good character from the team that we've bounced back tonight. Some lovely link-up play as well. Just uh, tell me about how much you've been working on that in training. We've been working, to be fair, we, I feel like we always do it. It's just, it just hasn't been coming off like quite the last pass in the, in the games, but I think tonight we had that. And obviously from my point of view, it's my final ball that I need to work on, but getting the ball into the box is what we've done. And that's where we got our goals from. Congratulations both. Well done. Thank you. Thank Go you and much. enjoy the singing. I heard <laughs> you singing earlier. Thank you. <laughs> Leah, professional performance, 2-0 win away from home. How would you assess the game? I think we controlled the game quite a lot. Um, obviously, the second half was a bit different. We had a lot of pressure on us, but we still controlled the pressure. Um, I think 2-0 was the right result. I think we dominated the game. We could have had more. Um, we just need to work on that in training, but we'll go back and revisit that soon. Yeah. Obviously, you wouldn't want to put United in front. to Talk us through, uh, through the move and the goal. We've just been working on underlapping and overlapping, and that's exactly what we did. Um, credit to Hannah. Great assist. Um, I was in the right place at the right time and, and got my goal. Yeah, she also had two assists today. How important is it to have the well defenders contributing as well? It's amazing, especially for the front line, because it gives us the opportunity to get in the box and score the goals. So if you've got someone else assisting, it's perfect. Yeah, I spoke to Hannah as well. Like, how important was it to bounce back after after last weekend? That was the biggest thing for us. I think it was obviously a really heavy defeat and it hurt us, but we had to move on very quickly. And we were just looking for a reaction. And today, I think we definitely got it. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, I mean, it's nine points from the first four games. Um, how would you assess the start of the season? It's been pretty good, hasn't it? It has. Uh, I, I always think it can be better, obviously. And um, we're working hard in training. A lot of change because obviously we have a new coach now. So we're adapting to things. But nine points out of 12, I'd definitely take that. Yeah, it definitely worked, worked today. Um, it did. <laughs> Next weekend, Manchester derby, mm -hmm. uh, how important is that game? It's huge. I mean, I think it's one that obviously it's a derby, isn't it? So it's always blue against red, but I'm just excited for it. I just want to go now. Yeah, it's going it's to be great. But uh, just finally, a word on our trusted supporters. They've been singing all game. It's almost like playing at home. It is. I mean, it's amazing. You wouldn't think we were away. And I, have, I just want to say thank you to the supporters and the fans because they are amazing every single week. Anything else about the game you want to add, final on? I just think we had a good, good attitude tonight. I think we were very positive and I think positivity around the team when you've had a big loss is huge. So I admire all the girls for keeping that mentality tonight. Mark, three points on the road. Yeah. How would you assess the, the girls' performance today? Very professional. Uh, we needed to get, we needed a reaction from the players, not, not necessarily because of last week, but because we wanted to continue the growth that we've been showing in the previous games. Um, and so for tonight, I found that we found a way when it was a very difficult block and road in front of us. Uh, it was pitfalls of players everywhere that were trying to be resolute and stopping us scoring. So I felt that we were very professional in the end. There's lots of things we're going to continue to work on. Um, but most importantly, we get the three points and we come away, you know, moving up the table where we want to be. Yeah. There was a similar pattern in the two goals, Hannah obviously having the penultimate touch. Yeah. Uh, how much have we worked on that and how would you describe the two goals? I think you have to have a way of overcoming a deep block and ways of that is invading space late. 
So whether that's a midfielder run, whether that's a full back run, whether it's inside, outside. So we did, throughout the week, we've done a lot of space working. So where we'd find our, our space. And usually full backs, your winger doesn't track them as much. So you have an opportunity to in, invade the space that you need. Um, so we've done a bit of work on that, but, but we're trying to teach the players that that will be available whenever you play. It just depends on how you try to get into those spaces. The game is all about spaces because you can, there's only 11 players on the field from the opponent. So we need to find the most effective spaces and arrive at them in the right times. And that gives you the best chance to win the game. I thought we were very good at that, invading the spaces, second half especially. Yeah, and obviously Ella, Toon and uh, Leo Galton got to, got to two goals. How happy are you with their performance? Always. I mean, goals kind of shine on a performance and usually players of the match get that because of, you know, scoring. but. But I found that the whole team found today the way to win. And I love the exciting individuals we have, but I also love the fact that we want to be a team and a collective. So for me, the, 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 when we destroy uh, a counter-attack from an opponent together, when we defend a block run through to goal together, when we get around Mary if she's saving a ball together, these are things that excite me just as much as when we have wonderful magicians on the ball like Ella um, and obviously Leah and, and obviously uh, Kirky come on second half and made a real impact. Um, so in those moments we had uh, magicians and it's really nice to have those but our team is the most important. Togetherness and our team is the most important. Yeah, you mentioned the team. Obviously, uh, I spoke to Hannah uh, and Leah earlier. They, they praised the character in the squad, bouncing back from last week, and to say that that was the most important thing today. Was that the same for you as well? Let me stress this: we need to stop overreacting to results. We didn't like the Chelsea result, but we were in charge of that result, and we didn't do what we needed to do. This team needs to be solid. It needs to be committed to each other, and it needs to grow and develop, and not worry about results. The results come as part of our hard work and process and togetherness and we'll put ourselves in the best position to win games of football but we need to stop jumping up and jumping down when we win or when we lose we have to be very level-headed and and almost sinister in the way that we want to attack the opponent because we want to win games of football and those are winners in there but we've got to find our special way to do that together and so I want to make that very, very clear. We need to stop going here and we need to stop going here. And we need to be very dead level and focused and laser focused on what we want to achieve as a team. Mm. It's nine points from the first four games and now Manchester City yeah. uh, in the next one. How big of a game is that going to be? Again, it's always a big game. You're playing against your rivals and there'll be that extra energy that you get in a, in a derby. But for me, we have to find a way to beat them. And we have to find a way to focus on their weaknesses and destroy their uh, their opportunities to attack us. So we won't need to get here because we'll already be in that focus. Our fans will bring that energy that they always do. I mean, tonight you can just it echoes around the stadium. Our fans, so we take over whenever we go away. So for us to be at home, we need to bring that energy, drive our players towards finding a way to beat Manchester City who will be a very difficult opponent even though they're going through where, th where they're at at the minute but we have to find a way and our fans are absolutely the energy in which we breathe in in our lungs every time we step on the field. Yeah, and You mentioned the fans just finally, is it like playing at home almost? It is, it's wonderful, you, can, you, you never stop not hearing them, you're always hearing them and when you hear them you're like wow like you get goosebumps and they give us goosebumps and, and that's what we want from our fans they're wonderful wonderful I, i've been now to two teams and this is my third team and, and to hear them it's just it's just amazing sound and i want them to keep making it